Hi everyone, this is Marceline at CashierGreens.com once again. Welcome back to my advanced gardening channel. So in today's video, we're going to be learning about how to transplant citrus young seedlings from the tray to a banded pot. So let's get started and see me on the other side. Before we repot our citrus seedlings, I'm going to introduce you guys to one of my best containers that I use here in my greenhouse. I use a banded pot. This is 2 and 3 8 by 5. It comes in different sizes, but I prefer this smaller container because it's easy for me to reorganize my seedlings and restack in the shelf. Especially if you grow a lot of plants and you have so many seedlings to repot, I would consider to use a banded pot because it gives you more space and you can put as many plants in its shelf. Also, if you grow plants and sell online, this is a perfect container to ship your plants in the mail. So let's go ahead and transplant our citrus. All right, we're going to conduct an experiment with our citrus plants today. We're going to give them with Micro Plus. Now, this is not cheap product. This is very expensive, but because of the experiment, I purchased this. Now, what are we doing here? We're going to put this Micro Plus to our seedlings, and then we're going to observe the growth and development of the plant from today, then for the next few months. And I'm going to follow up you guys with this. Now, mycorrhizae, I hope I pronounced the word properly. Mycorrhizae are symbiotic relationship that form a bond or connection between two living things, the plant and the fungi. Now, it is claimed to be that this fungus or fungi is beneficial for the plants because it gives protection for the young root system against pathogens and also it gives capa increasing capability of the root system to absorb more nutrients and water so the plants can grow bigger healthier and produce bigger roots and bigger fruit now this connection and relationship is almost like rub my back now i rub yours so it's something like that because what, it, what happens is that the plants will manufacture this food from photosynthesis in the form of sugar and then the sugar is given or fed to the fungus so that the fungus can, uh, can consume this sugar and then in return the fungus give protection for the plants against invader. So now we are going to experiment this and the question is that does mycorrhizae work? So we are going to transplant our citrus so let's get started. All right, let's transfer these uh, seedlings from this tray to banded pot. So I put this soil. This is the potting soil. I use organic. I put halfway. So don't put uh, your soil all the way to the top. Just put halfway so you have more space for the seedlings. Now, when you take out the seedlings, make sure you don't uh, injure the root system. So this is less transplant shot because it's already had soil attached to it you just when you when you lift this you just press this like that and just slowly until it becomes loose enough and then grab here and then here you go so you put this one in your in the pot and make sure as I mentioned make sure to uh, pull them slowly so look at that there
right, this is the end for today. If you like the video, please consider to subscribe. Also, don't forget to share with all your friends, especially friends who want to learn advanced gardening. So stay tuned and see you next week. Bye-bye.